in this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up a fully automated blogging system that can be used for any website and any digital asset. Hello, my name is Marty Englander from Brainy Automations. And in today's video, you're going to learn the practicalities of how you can properly set up an auto blogger for your websites in your tone so you can sleep at night knowing you've got content going out that actually makes sense. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours. I'll also leave the link to the presentation in the description below. Okay, let's talk about automating blogs. So what is the typical process? And to a lot of you, this might look a bit scary, but it's really not because we're gonna go through everything that we need to know so we can actually implement something like this. So don't stress. And if you have any questions at all, make sure to comment them below. I'm here to help you. So what is the typical process? Well, the first thing that we need is some information. We need a topic. So what once we have a topic or a trending topic, we then process that information through AI. And then we also use AI to create the blog and we also use AI to create the images for us. There are a multitude of different ways you can do this, but we're gonna keep it really simple right now. Then once you've processed all of that information, we need a way to send that to our website. Most people nowadays are using WordPress. So I'm just going to pretend we've got a WordPress website and then once that post is on our WordPress website we then can automate that to go out on our emails, automate it to go out on our Facebook and automate it to go out on our LinkedIn. So just to quickly recap we need a trending topic, we process that trending topic with AI, we do the same with AI for the image generation and the blog post, we then post that to our website and we automatically have that sent to our email subscribers our Facebook followers and our LinkedIn followers as well. And here's some problems that probably most people fall into the trap, which is the blogs don't make sense or it's incomplete. So most of the time when we start thinking about automated blogs and writing and stuff like that, we are associating it with garbage because ultimately we don't know how to keep that congruent feel of the blog post. We don't know how to match all the information together, how to give it relevant information. So it comes out not very good. We also cannot get relevant thumbnails. We know that blogging, we need thumbnails and images in the blog, which we don't do a very good job at. And that's because again, we don't know how to talk to AI. So we don't get good results with the images. Also pulling everything in a system where it can dynamically understand what the blog is about to create an image is also a tough challenge, one that I teach inside brainyautomations.com. And also the final thing is people don't know how to code. In fact, I don't know how to code, but I'm still able to put up certain systems. So we need to find a way on bypassing that whole coding thing. And we can go down the route of hiring developers and stuff like that, but that is very expensive, time consuming, and frankly, it's just not feasible for small, medium-sized business owners. So what is the solution to these problems? Well, solution one is if the blogs don't make sense or they're incomplete, we need better prompt. The prompt is the thing that we put into the AI to say what we want. Now, the problem with prompts and people is most people talk in a suggestive way rather than a direct way. In other words, we are actually speaking with tone of voice and suggestive communication, assuming that the person receiving that information is going to understand it by the context of what we're saying and how we're saying it. But AI doesn't work that way yet. So we need to give it direct step-by-step -step instructions and not assume that it's going to understand all the suggestive ideas that we have. So we need to really break down things and give it everything that it needs in order to give us the results that we need. And this is the exact same idea when it comes to the thumbnails. We need to give it exact information to inspire AI to give us the exact visual that we're actually after. And not knowing how to code, we don't need to outsource it to other people anymore because we can use tools, specifically no-code tools, that will let us 
ultimately drag and drop and connect all our other softwares together, like for example, ChatGPT to WordPress. So we can connect these things without knowing code, without knowing programming, and we give all of these steps instructions on how to do things, making it incredibly cost-effective, simple, and frankly, we've now just gotten an army of expert copywriters, developers, marketers, anything you can think of, we can actually start automating that using no-code solutions and we don't need any pre-knowledge or tech knowledge of how to do things. So what do we need and how do we make this work? Well, the first step is by breaking things down. So here's how we do that. First, we need topics. So where do we get them from? Then we need to decide how long our blogs will be, like word count and what style blogs are they? Because depending on the style blog that you want might actually dictate you needing to set up numerous automations to accomplish that. If you wanted to write a blog all about how to sort of style content versus, you know, top reasons why or five best reasons to do this or etc etc the actual format of those blog styles are different so it's unlikely you're going to be able to do that in one automation so breaking down what style content you actually want to post is the way to tackle this and then once you've gotten one style up and running you can simply duplicate one automation and then just make amendments to that so you can do the next style automation. Then we need a series of prompts that break down the elements of the specific blog post. So in other words, we need to take that blog style and what that sort of content is going to be and we need to break it down in a way that AI will understand, right, this is the introduction, this is what comes after the introduction. We need some paragraph sections, we need some listicle style section, we need some questions, we need some snippets, we need some references and stuff like that. So we need to break down every single prompt in order to achieve those sort of results. And finally, we actually need to decide what tools we need to accomplish all of this. Let's break this down even more and go through this. So the first one is where can we get topic? Well, this is a really easy one. We can get them from YouTube, from our videos or other people's videos. We can get them from trending news sources like Google News, BBC News, ITV News, you know, any news source you think of, you can get it from. And you can even get it from other people's blogs or your blogs or anything on those lines, okay? So you basically spoil for choice as to where you can get all of your topics and trends from. Then we need to decide how long the blogs are and what style blogs are they. So first of all, you know, what's the industry standard for the specific blog style and the niche that you're in? If your niche is super, super niche, then there's not going to be a lot of content on the internet that AI can base its information off. So that will be become problematic if you're trying to write 1500 word, 2000 word blog, because it simply doesn't have the resources it needs unless you're going to manually give it the resources, which takes away the point of automation. But According to Neil Patel, a good starting point now is around 700 words across the board for most industries. So 700 words is a good starting point. And then the style blogs, I personally recommend, especially when you're first getting started, is thoughts and opinions on the overall trending topic. It's easy to come up with better prompts and it doesn't require as much technical know-how. And then as you adjust that, you get used to the systems and then you can start really taking components away from that and adjusting everything as you go. So how do we come up with that series of prompts that break down the elements of a specific blog style? Well, I could go on for hours, if not days, talking about prompt engineering, which is the key topic here. Prompt engineering is the thing that we need to learn. And this is going to be outside the scope of this video. But if you head over to uh, brainyautomations.com, I recently did a 45 minute workshop on blog automation using AI and system. In other words, I show you over the shoulder my entire setup for when it comes to automation so you can see and follow along on how I do all of that. So what tools do we need for this? Well, we need somewhere to store data. So storing data in something like Google Sheets is a fantastic place. It's free, easy to use and accessible on almost every single no-code solution app 
out there. We then need AI to create the blogs. So using something like ChatGPT, you'll go. You'll need to grab yourself an OpenAI account so you can access the API side of things, which again sounds scary, but it's actually not because remember, we're not coding, we're not programming or anything like that. We're just copying and pasting things. So you will need to have a ChatGPT account and then we need something to process the coding side. This is the no-code solution area. So we use a tool like Zapier. There's lots of alternatives. And again, I suggest a lot of it inside brainyautomations.com, but Zapier is a fantastic starting point. It's not the cheapest. There are cheaper ones out out there but Zapier is very user friendly and it's the best place to get started in my opinion. Then depending on the direction that you want to go in we can use AI to create the images or we can create a template design and then use dynamic functionalities to populate that template. So whilst the overall template design is the same the elements inside the design is different. We can use different text we can use different placeholders we can use different colors you know and we can do all of that to make the template completely different to each other but it's all within our branding and it's different enough to keep everything engaging and then of course we need somewhere where the blogs are actually going to go and that's going to be our wordpress website or our blog and all of these tools here connect to one another so you can have a really streamlined process that work really nicely. I do have full training on this, which is the 45 minute workshop that I was talking about. And inside the workshop, I talk about the systems I use. I show step-by-step -step instructions on the setup. I show the amazing, amazing prompts that I've come up with, which always get me basically a A star sort of response straight away. I don't need to keep playing around with it. Pro tips and tricks, how to control every step of the journey, how to create the focused image I was talking about, how you can automate these blogs on your website and how to structure everything. The exact order and how to do everything, you will learn that inside brainyautomations.com. Also, when you do become a member of brainyautomations.com, you will gain access to 18 plus automation courses, which are extremely well structured, straight to the point, no fluff, 75 plus hours of lessons. I actually think it's over a hundred hours now. Uh, that's constantly updating. Thousand plus resources, exclusive software discounts, around the clock support, relevant and modern training. Uh, never seen before training. You won't see the sort of stuff on YouTube, or if you do, it's going to be bits and pieces. It's not gonna be a full system like what I show. Uh, I've now had over 200 businesses enroll in my training not 150 anymore and just below that you can see some of the trainings I have my mass YouTube short creation course or my top tube which is how to repurpose TikTok videos to YouTube I've also got lead generation stuff some really amazing training that you can get your hands on uh, when you become a member. I hope that gives you some clarity on how you can start building your own automated blogging system. If you have any questions, drop them below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.